Hi, I'm Joe Elkhorn, and I am finally launching the fifth wheel trailer Tiny Home Makeover. We're here at a show where I'm allowing everyone to actually tour through before my parents take this out on the road. Now, this fifth wheel trailer did not look like this before as it was a 2004, very kind of dated with the old uh, design on there. We had to strip it apart, take it down to the bones as we did find that there was some mold and a bit of rot with the wood. Thank goodness we found a solution with concrobium that kills the mold at the root. We then closed everything up and we found this beautiful color in a wrap, which we found at the Canadian uh, Fleet Service, where they came and wrapped the whole thing and put the vinyl sign on it with bolts. The other fun part about having a tiny home that is on wheels is you really get to tour around and enjoy the, the different landscapes and areas within Canada or the US. And the cool part about that is you also get outdoor living spaces. Now you kind of have to think how you can dress the outside, um, but also keep your items portable. We are actually showing it if you have your trailer in a stationary area, you also have the outside to really add to the real estate of your tiny home. So we made sure to really build it up with different zones to sit on and expand that whole living area. And Distinct Patio brought in some beautiful pieces just to tie in that whole color scheme and make it feel more homey. Now on top of that, you always have to think about cleaning when you are dealing with the fifth wheel since it is on the road. Road. And Miss Myers has some beautiful uh, looking cleaning products as well as it being an essential oil. So the actual air quality within the trailer is something that you also need to think about. Now, when you're on the road and you're traveling, you always want to have a wonderful barbecue. And that's why I turned to Weber for this cute charcoal kind of egg retro looking um, just gorgeous barbecue to add to the whole aesthetics. Now, even if you don't have a mobile home, these are still tips that you can use for your outdoor living space. And the real thing is you want to bring the comfort of the inside out. And nowadays the furniture is stunning with different fabrics and also the convenience of bringing a lot of different accessories outside in the elements. And the thing is you really want to start to situate that you have different vignettes and that makes it seem like you're in an indoor space. Also, you want to have fun with some of your pillows and mixing up the different patterns and textures. Now, I kind of have to plug my own outdoor pillow line because the whole thing is you need things that are washable. You want stylish fabrics, but you also want something that's going to last and be durable. The other thing that you can really do to kind of ground and zone an area is use outdoor rugs. And nowadays, the outdoor rugs are so easy to clean and they're still stylish. So make sure that you're looking for an outdoor rug that isn't going to hold a lot of the mold or moisture or water and it will last a lot longer. The other fun thing that we did when we did wrap the trailer is we added detail to it just to really add a different personal touch with the Bolt company. And I wanted people to know that this was my parents' uh, trailer by adding in the little extra detail of an A. I even put my logo on it and it's all about personalizing your home even if it is a tiny home as a fifth wheel trailer. Adding greenery really adds ambiance to your outdoor space. Now, if you don't have a green thumb, you can always turn to artificial greens. And I love just making sure that there's a nice pop, but there's also something very minimal and easy to the locations that they're at. So don't be afraid that uh, you don't have enough light or you're not going to be able to water them because there's always options for everyone. Now with today's weather, you never know what's going to happen and that's why it's so important that you have some kind of coverage. Now with the fifth wheel is I went with a beautiful awning from the awning company to give you that shelter and to kind of take in a different zone as well. The beautiful part is we matched all the colors to everything so it's just really an extension of the fifth wheel trailer. But without that, it'd be pretty hot when the sun is coming down and you wouldn't be able to enjoy the outdoors when it is raining. So you really want to think, how can I extend the lifespan of the outdoor living even in the different elements? Tiny homes and outdoor living have become a huge trend and it's all about making sure that you have your personal touch added. Now, right now it's being shown to the public, but very soon my parents are going to be hitting the road and enjoying it for themselves.